The Bundeswehr has too little of everything. That's the bottom line of a report on the German army published by its representative in the federal government. Speaking here in Berlin on Tuesday, Eva Höckel says the Bundeswehr situation has become even worse in the past year, as despite a massive 100 billion euro fund announced in 2022 to upgrade the Bundeswehr. Höckel says none of this money is being felt yet by troops on the ground. Sending tanks and other military equipment to Ukraine has limited the Bundeswehr's own training and combat capabilities, and chronic underfunding has left soldiers with substandard equipment, as we see in this report. It looks like a battlefield, but it's actually a training exercise for Tiger combat helicopters in eastern Germany. These models have been part of NATO's rapid response force since January but their 1980s technology is outdated and urgently needs to be upgraded for better self-defense. They don't quite stack up to the superior protective measures of potential opponents. We are very vulnerable. This isn't a flying tank, even if it looks like it. We stay a bit more in the background and take action from there, but nonetheless, we do want to make an impact on the enemy. The main concern is that the helicopters could get damaged or break down. Maintenance and repair costs are already significant. Just a dozen of 51 Tigers are ready for combat. And there are also issues with weapons malfunctioning. The problem is that the gun cartridges that are supplied are of differing lengths. There's been an issue, and in this case, it caused the cartridge to move incorrectly, thereby destroying the entire casing. Machine gun training has been cancelled for now. But it's not just faulty cartridges that have been causing problems. Germany's army, the Bundeswehr, also doesn't have enough ammunition to begin with. Some regiments do have new equipment but there's only enough for those in the NATO Rapid Response Force. It's not standard for the German army. I would actually like to see this implemented the way it's been portrayed in the media, that every soldier would be equipped by a certain date. For military exercises and real operations, all resources are pooled. The problem is procurement. Waiting five years or more for equipment or uniforms is not uncommon. I wish the procurement of equipment was faster and that the equipment was up to date. I also wish that my comrades didn't have to obtain it privately or because the official equipment wasn't sufficient. These soldiers say they've seen little of the money promised, but they're doing all they can to keep the Tiger combat helicopters in the skies. For more, we can speak with Niels Gründer. He's a member of the German parliament for the Free Democratic Party, and he's also a member of the Bundestag's Defense Committee. Welcome to the program. Mr. Gründer, what do you make of the new assessment report on the state of Germany's armed forces? Yes, uh, thanks for the invitation. Um, there are several problems that are also um, told uh, in the report uh, that uh, Mrs. Högel um, gave to the parliament today. Um, yeah, we have problems uh, in the procurement that it has to be faster, that uh, the bureaucratic standards has uh, yeah, to be decreased and uh, yeah, that we uh, get the personnel, um, the personal equipment um, to the soldiers more faster and the coalition will do this uh, until 2025. Okay, so procurement is an issue, um, but just your general impression. I mean, it's, it's paints that report paints a rather uh, damning picture of the state of the German military, doesn't it? Um, in, in parts, um, but we can defend ourselves. Um, Germany has a uh, functional army. And uh, yeah, so uh, I would um, yeah, uh, contain uh, the, um, yeah, the thing that, uh, um, that we are, aren't able to defend ourselves. 
Okay, Chancellor Olaf Scholz, he announced um, an extra 100 billion euros uh, for the military nearly a year ago. But the Armed Forces Commissioner says none of that money has reached the military so far. What's the problem? Yeah, um, uh, as you said, um, we have problems to spend that money and uh, that's because of bureaucratic standards. And um, yeah, we uh, in the coalition and in the defense committee, we, we made several uh, contracts with, um, um, with the industry um, to, um, yeah, uh, to reinvest the money and to get the equipment. And uh, that's one process that um, especially in the Ministry of Defense uh, also has to be much faster than uh, it is uh, or than it was in the in, in the past. You know, reducing bureaucracy, streamlining procurement processes. Uh, we've been hearing these recommendations for years. Is money alone going to fix this problem? Do you think there will be the changes necessary to bring Germany's armed forces up to snuff? Um, no, money doesn't solve uh, the problems, but um, it, uh, the, the so-called Zeitenwende it has to be in our minds. Um, in, in the past, we, uh, have, uh, we were afraid of making mistakes, and I think that has to change. Um, because mistakes can be made, and it's totally normal that they happen, but um, if we are always afraid of doing something, then uh, never ever will uh, something happen. And that's one of the problems that we have in our process um, yeah, of getting the equipment for our soldiers. And uh, they deserve it, that uh, it has to be much faster um, yeah, to also to um, fulfill our work in the NATO. Okay, Mr. Gunder, thank you very much for speaking with us. That was Niels Gunder, a German parliamentarian with the FDP party on the Bundestag's Defense Committee.